What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fast and effective follow along workout that you can do at the gym or at home. Today we have a 15 minute upper body EMOM where we're targeting chest, back, biceps, and triceps. This is a 15 minute workout. It's going to be intense. I need you to be putting in as much work as you possibly can to maximize the short amount of time that you have to work out. So before we get into this one, I'm gonna take you through an effective warm up using just our body weight, and then we're gonna get ready to put in some work. Let's go. All right, guys, getting into this quick warm up. So we're starting off warming up the shoulders with 10 forward shoulder circles. So we're not going for time, we're going for reps. Follow along with me. Let's go. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, same thing, we're going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got the shoulders warmed up a little bit. Now we're hitting more of the upper back, stretching out the pecs as well. With the standing T-frame, we're going 10 reps on each side. So a total of 20. So we start off arm extend out in front. One arm comes back while the other hand stays in the same position, pointing forward. So stretching the pecs. Warming up the scapula and upper back. It's two, three, four, five. So we don't want to turn like this. Keep it upper body pointed straight ahead. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, good, shake it out a little bit. Now, targeting the upper back even more with the scapula pull-up. So you guys are gonna need a pull-up bar for this workout. So we're coming up to our pull-up bar. Hands are gonna be a little more than shoulder width. We're hanging onto our bar and hanging underneath the bar. What we're gonna be doing is pulling our body up with straight arms, just using our scapula and upper back. So arms stay straight the entire time. So we're in the dead hang position. We're gonna lift back and up. So notice my arms stay straight, back, and up. Feel that scapula working and lifting. Hold for a second and lower back down to that fully stretched position. So we're going 15. So that's five, six, seven. Arms stay straight. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. One. Two, three, four, and five. Good, coming down, shake it out a little bit. We finish this off with 15 bodyweight push-ups, but we're going slow and controlled. We're not rushing it, we're not bouncing off the floor. Full range of motion, lightly touching the chest to the floor, lowering slowly, pressing back up, really squeezing the chest at the top. 15 reps here. So hands are about shoulder width, feet are together, core is braced. Lower slowly with control, light touch, press back up. It's two, three, four, five, six. Follow my tempo. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, Three, four, last one, and five, good. All right guys, 15 minute EMOM. An EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna break this up into three different five minute blocks. Block number one, we're gonna start off with 10 floor press and five pull-ups. So you're gonna perform the 10 floor press, five pull-ups as quickly as you can with excellent technique. We'll then have the remainder of that minute to rest before we hit it again. We're gonna do this for five total minutes. For reference, I'm using a pair of 45 pound kettlebells for the floor press. You guys can certainly use dumbbells if you want instead. The second five minute block, we have 10 bent over rows and then 10 kettlebell push-ups as quickly as possible. We'll have the remainder of the minute to rest. We're gonna do this for five total minutes. For reference, I'm using a pair of 35 pound kettlebells and I'm doing the push-ups on the kettlebells. For the last five minute block, we're gonna hit 10 supinated kneeling curls. So we'll be doing this in a kneeling position. Right into 10 tricep push-ups 
on the dumbbells. So as quickly as we can, we'll have the remainder of the minute to rest for five total minutes, totaling a 15 minute workout. So I actually just did this workout. I programmed it and it was too difficult. I went too heavy on the bent over rows. I also had too many pushups programmed in the bent over row pushup block and I was not able to complete all the prescribed reps in the minute. So I made it too difficult. So I took some rest, modified the workout. Now we're ready <laughs> to get after the workout. So we're starting out first five minute block, 10 floor press, five pull-ups. Let's get ready. Start in 10 seconds. Let's see how we do the <laughs> second round. Three, three, two, one. Here we go. Start at the bottom. Explode up, breathe out the top. Nice and controlled on the way down. Elbows at about a 45 degree angle. I lost count. Eight, nine, 10, lower down, we'll right up to our pull-ups, full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up at the top. One, two, three, four, five, good. All right, about 25 seconds to rest. Don't gauge it off the first set. It's gonna get more and more challenging. Those pull-ups are gonna get tough. <laughs> As I learned the first time doing this workout, 10 seconds, back to that floor press, 10 reps. Nice and controlled. One, and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah. Yeah, the second block got really tough. First time going through. I used the same weight as the floor presses and I just started failing after the third, the third set. So, and then I couldn't get all the push-ups done. So I just said, you know what? Let's give it some rest. We'll modify, get after it again. So it's a little smoother. Here we go. One, two. Back up. Here we go. My strategy too with these EMOMs is to try to keep the same tempo. So keep great technique, of course, but also try and just keep the same tempo throughout just to have that extra challenge and also have you to have a goal each round as well. All right, we have two more sets. Here we go, three, one, and press. Nice and slow, on the way down, explode on the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one more. Pull-ups are getting tough. Those definitely sneak up on you. If you guys need to modify, do body weight rows instead. So hang underneath, you know, a bar on the squat rack and aim for anywhere from five to 10 reps. One more round. And then we're getting into the bent over row push-up block. So get ready for that quick transition. Here we go, last round. One, two. Right 
Bring it up to those pull-ups. Last set of pull-ups. One more. Five, good. Bent over rows, push-ups. Drop the weight as needed because we're pre-fatigued coming off of those pull-ups. So we're not going to need as much weight as we normally could lift. So we want this to be challenging, but we don't want to be failing so bad that we can't complete the prescribed reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. Good. The knees get tougher quick too, so have some other weights handy just in case. Because ideally we want to just keep this going. Back nice and straight on those rows. Make sure you guys are really rowing towards the belt line, elbows tight to the body. Three. Two, one. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Push ups for ten. One, two. Ten. Keep good form in those bent rows. We're starting to fatigue. These weights are starting to feel heavier and heavier. Gotta lock that form in. Don't fuck around. Here we go, third set. Three. One, let's work. Push ups. keeping that same pace and for the second block or the last block you might not need heavy weight for those curls we might have to drop that weight lower than we think but we're gonna try with the 20s and keep that going we might drop it down to 15s we'll see here we go two more rounds of this block two one Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, three. Get a good stretch on the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, nine. 10, one more round. And we're quickly transitioning to our curls and tricep push-ups. Finishing this one out strong. Let's go. Last set of this block. Let's work. Push-ups. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten, done. All right, right supinated curls, tricep push ups. Let's try 10 reps of each. We may modify the reps, might modify the weight. Just want to find the perfect sweet spot. Three, one, let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Thumb those down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think the ten is going to be too tough. I think we're going to go eight. So we're gonna start failing miserably. Or fuck it, let's just do, let's do 10 as long as we can. If we have to drop it to eight, we'll drop it to eight. See, it's my little inner bitch trying to, trying to get me to change things. Here we go. Three. It's hard for me to give instruction right now. <laughs> but focus on full range of motion, stretching the bottom of the curl, squeeze and flex at the top on the tricep push-ups, just hinging at the elbows to put more focus on the triceps as opposed to the chest and anterior delts like a push-up. So keep that focus. Let's go. Form is starting to go. I kind of had more in me, but the form is starting to get to shit. Three more. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're also hitting some core on those tricep push-ups, as you can tell. So make sure that core stays braced and tucked in because we do have the hands out in front of the body to have a little bit of a smoother trajectory as we lower. Here we go. Two more rounds. It's five. Come on. Eight, two more. Come on, Jay. Oh man, those curls, brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh. All right, last set. We just got to get the reps done within the minute. So as long as we get them done in the minute, we have won this fucking workout. Here we go. Uh, so I'm gonna stop before failure. That's four. Three and three. Six. Seven. This is a better way to rest. Three more. 
Come on. One, two, a form of shit. One more. Uh. All right, we gotta get these done. Come on. 20 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, yeah, we did it. Nicely done, guys. Man, 15 minutes. It's amazing what you can get done in a short amount of time when you're following the right kinds of workouts. Until the next workout, make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.